ASU5 Community Programs Remote Recreation. I'm Recreation Coordinator Chris Garrett, and for the next couple of weeks, every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, I'm gonna be coming at you with a new challenge. So our first challenge is inspired by the show Lego Masters. Uh, I have a bunch of Lego bricks. I've also got a bunch of Duplo bricks. I kind of prefer the Duplo myself. So what we're gonna to do today is we are going to build a bridge. And uh, this bridge is going to be at least two feet long and underneath it it's gonna have one foot of clearance for something to get in height and width so if you can imagine a square that's one foot long and one foot tall that's got to be under the bridge now if you're using Lego they're half the size of Duplo if you want to make it six inches tall and six inches wide that's okay but if you want to challenge yourself you can go ahead and uh, try and make it a full foot that's what I'm gonna do now <laughs> So here we have our completed bridge, and we made it just about two feet across. It spans two feet, but the important thing was it's got one foot of clearance underneath, and in the middle, it has one foot width. Then it has our little arches here, and it's got all our support. We're gonna see how much weight it can hold. So let's start with all these kids' books. Okay, so we have those kids' books. That is 17.4 pounds. Let me stop running in front. Okay, 17.4 pounds. Let's see if this can hold it. Just fine. All right. I think I need to slide them around a little bit to make room for the other ones. Let's hope it doesn't break when I do that. Okay, that's about even. All right, so that was 17.4 pounds. Uh, what do you guys think next, Harry Potter? Um, let's do the Narnia books next. Okay, the Chronicles of Narnia are gonna be placed on, these are seven pounds total. We're gonna put them on in order, the right order. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, Prince Caspian, The Voyage of the Dawn Treader, The Silver Chair, The Horse and His Boy, The Magician's Nephew, and The Last Battle. No problems there. Olivia's heavy data. Okay. So that is 20, 24.4 pounds. Let's move these down a little bit. They're still all on there, but I wanted to make it even enough that we can place some things on there. How about the works of J.R.R. Tolkien? Yeah. You want to do Harry Potter next? All right, Harry Potter next. Harry Potter... If I get all these books on the air, that's 13.2 pounds. Uh -oh. All right, it's holding all the Harry Potter books. I should have done the math and added everything up here, but let's just keep going. This is just a sack of random books. Uh, this weighs nine pounds total, so about three pounds per book. There's The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, The Beastie Boys book, a little creaky, Jonathan Strange and Mr. Norrell, right on there. Oh, still holding. Mm -hmm. All right. It's so heavy. Start with The Hobbit. Uh -huh. Ooh. Whoa. Okay, it's gonna fall side to side, not break. I'm gonna try and get all these books on here at once to try and get it to balance. I didn't think balance was gonna be the issue. <laughs> Let's turn so you can see that that's the Lord of the Rings up there. I'm going to sit here and do some quick math. 
Okay, 0.4, carry the one. Kids, if you don't know what carry the one is, ask your parents. 10, <laughs> 17, uh, 27, 30, <laughs> 39, 49, and seven, uh, 56, and six, 62.6 .6 pounds. If I get these cookbooks on here, it's 62.6. Then we'll have to take a break because that's all the books I weighed ahead of time. 62.6. Can we do it? Oh, yeah. 62.6 pounds. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go try to find about 38 more pounds worth of books. Whoa. Look at it bending over here. I think it's going to fall that way. Oh, you know what? It's leaning up against this chest back here. I kind of feel like that's cheating, so I'm going to fix this a little bit, make sure it really holds that much weight. Okay, it's not leaning up against anything more. Okay, we're back. I've got 41 pounds of books, so if we get everything on there, it's going to be 104 pounds. We're going to stop at that point. We're not going above 100 pounds. But I thought we'd start with the impressive one. I've got the Compact Oxford English Dictionary. This weighs, who's got the list right here? The Oxford English, this weighs 13.8 pounds. <laughs> I'm gonna try and add this right to the top. Just a little bit of creaking. <laughs> All right, so then I'm going to add right here, I've got an Atlas of the World, uh, Hyrule Historia about Zelda, please move out of the way, and the Century. All right, these add up to 17.8. So I'll be at 92, 93 pounds, just about 93 pounds. That was the noisiest one yet. Okay, these are my high school yearbooks. Another 10 pounds will bring us over 100 pounds. And we'll see if we could, if we can build a bridge out of Duplo that holds 100 pounds. You guys ready? Please stop walking in front. Still cracking. There we go. So our bridge of Duplo, it's got two feet of span, and underneath it is one feet, one foot of clearance width and one foot of clearance height. Can hold a hundred pounds of oh I think it's going. <laughs> Alright, it held it for it held it long enough for me to say that. Uh, my suggestion is build a nice wide base if you're going to do this because uh, these books are tall. Okay, see Bye. if you can do it. Bye.